And there, once again, is our little friend, the G6 chassis fault. We're going to talk about that in this episode, and we're going to fix this baby for good. So, stay tuned. So let's go back just a little bit. A few weeks ago, we posted a video about the G6 chassis fault and a yeah, kind of a, a temporary, a temporary fix, like a band-aid sort of fix that we came up with it for it. I'll link that video right here. It definitely works, but... We've been on the road for about a week now. Yeah. And it's Flat been out, straight hard driving. Hot, hot, hot every single day. It was day. 109 in Oklahoma when we stopped yesterday. Yeah. And so it's happened every single every day. Every single day. And the other thing we found out is that one day I forgot to turn the water pump on. And so partway through the day, I thought, oh, we need to have water for the toilet. No water pump no could water. be turned on because no. we already had the G6 fault. So the G6 chassis fault won't let, allow you to turn the, both the slides out and it doesn't allow you to turn the water pump on or off until that's cleared. And it took three and a half hours for it to clear last night. So last night we said, this is baloney, we gotta figure this out. So I did some searching on the web mm -hmm. and I found somebody who said, hey, there's just, it's a it's a issue with this crimping on a particular connector. Right. And, and so. It was detailed enough that we thought we could, and he has a picture and this is, I'll, I'm, we'll show you the picture right here of his post which was very helpful. Yes, it was. Um, but we went out this morning and- I tried to I tried to find it and I, I, I didn't- Couldn't figure out what he was talking about. Yeah, I, I couldn't see his, the connection. His, so we got on the road and knowing that we'd have the fault when we got here tonight. And, and we did. We, and we did. <laughs> um, and I got on the phone to uh, Spider Control Inc. in Alberta, Canada. And um, they answered almost immediately. Yeah, I think they're I had really nice. five or six seconds of hold music, and I got Gordon. And thank you, Gordon, for your help this morning, um, because uh, he, I handed the phone to Derek, and he told Derek the entire process of exactly what to do. And it's really very simple. It's a yeah. very easy fix. Specifically, I think this orange one. Let's be just just bumped it. Okay, so you see, there's this little tab right here. Yes. That releases the lock, so uh -huh. that you can pull the connectors apart. Right. And then, if you'll notice, see, there's four little silver dots. Those are the crimping, those, those go into the wires and they're crimped with pressure to make contact with the wire. So by taking my pliers and pushing on those, it pushes them in more solidly, more firmly because they're not heat sensitive, they just come loose with heat. They just come loose with heat. And so then on this side, I'm not sure if they are crimped as well or not, but I just went ahead and did the same thing on this side, just did the crimping to make sure they were all solid. And this is an orange wire that an orange cable actually right yeah it's an orange cable and then it goes to this gray one and so i just plug those back together no. and then put the panel box back on all right and there it is all back on okay let's go in and see Should we turn it on? Yep. And see, 
see if the slide will go out. <gasps> Ta da! And there it is. It's fixed. This is not, these wires are not heat sensitive. It's not the heat that's causing it to shut down per se. Right. It's just that the heat causes the, the housing, the temporary crimp the, or the insufficiently crimped uh, wires to make it low breaks loosens connection. It, up. it breaks, it breaks connection. the connection. Right. And so that means that the network connection between the main panel and the and the other panel is dropped right. and that's what causes the fall right so it's it's there there's crimped enough to work when things are cool but when the heat just sort of expands and loosens everything up they won't work until right. they cool off enough and tighten back up so the the answer is just to crimp those just a little bit more just tighten them just a little bit more as you yep. can see on the video now this is what we did this was exactly what spider told us to do and this is what fixed the problem for us. Right. Most of the time, this problem, he, uh, Gordon told us, is caused by heat. There are other issues, I suppose, that you could have, but this fixed our problem. Yeah. So it's a very easy fix. Took us longer to take the panel off, I think, than <laughs> yeah, it did to actually, to actually fix it. it. Yeah. Once we knew exactly which cable he was looking yeah. at, and then to unplug it, crimp both of those two little gidgets and then snap it back together put the thing up that's all there was to it so rg6 chassis fault is fixed we hope yeah as far as we can tell it's fixed right. all right so we have been driving since about 9 30 this morning nine o'clock maybe it's 4 30 in the afternoon now and there is no fault light so i'm gonna put the jacks out and this is day two and we're gonna make sure that our fix worked, but it looks like it did. Right, and as you can see, the slide went out without any problem. We did not have to do any override. It just worked. So that's super great. So we hope this will help you if you're experiencing a G6 chassis fault. Right. We are on the road again. We're heading, we're doing what we call a lollipop trip. Yep. Um, we're going straight out to our destination area, which is the southeast. Um, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina-ish area. Maybe Pennsylvania. Maybe Pennsylvania and Florida a little bit later on. Um, but we've been just doing 400 miles a day, which breaks our rule all to, all to pieces. Um, to stop but away. it's been working. It's, but it's, it's been good. working out. We've been, we've been doing fine. But we're glad to be stopped after 415 miles today. Um, but we've got lots more coming up. And so we hope that um, you haven't already, that you'll hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and ring the bell to get notified. You bet. And until next time, restless friends, you take care. Bye.